What a neighbor captured on her camera was just the beginning of what turned out to be a killing spree. Inside this burning house, the father and brother of a gunman who killed them and went on killing. A woman was shot outside. There then followed carjackings and shootings at at least six more locations, one in the middle of traffic. I was in my car and a guy on the left side of the street jumped out of a car with a big black gun and started blasting rounds at all of our cars. As police responded, the final stop was Santa Monica's community college. One student there described coming face to face with the gunman. He looked at me and then he just panned over with his gun and I jumped out of the way and he shot at me. He just seemed very calm. He wasn't fidgety, he wasn't moving around a whole lot. He just was standing there, like panning around, looking, like I'm looking for targets. With the campus on lockdown, police describe how they brought the rampage to an end. The suspect headed toward the library, shot a woman on the campus just before entering the library, accosted a number of patrons inside the library and attempted to shoot at them. Those individuals were able to uh, find safety in a safe location inside the library. However, he continued to shoot at them. The officers came in and directly engaged the suspect and he was shot and killed on the scene. Students escorted off the campus had to crawl past the body of the gunman. Yeah, I saw a body, but I don't know what the body was of. And that was, where was that, in the library? No, before? it was outside of the library. The he was all dressed in black, so I think it could have been the shooter because I heard um, the shooter was dressed all up in black and uh, he looked like a cop. It had brought terror to a peaceful part of a resort city popular with tourists and with President Barack Obama attending a political fundraiser three miles away. And even in a country so used to gun violence, the scale and random nature of the killing has shocked people here. The forensic work continues here and will for many days. Police say they're dealing with nine crime scenes across a mile wide area. The shots were fired at each one. They say they're certain that the gunman acted alone. Once again, America is left asking those familiar questions. What drove someone to do this? How did they arm themselves? Could they have been stopped? And as they seek the answers, they count the cost in lost lives. Greg Milam, Sky News, Santa Monica.